Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, let's get into uh, today's show. For, we're going to get into the Michael Fox decision. I haven't done a response to this yet. I wouldn't be able to do a show yesterday. Uh, so we're going to do a response today. Uh, before we do, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, eight, 10 minutes per day. Like I said, two shows a day. Um, all right, guys. Um, also, subscribe to our other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. I'm going to be uh, uploading some new content this week to that channel. I'm going to do a, I have an interview with the Raccoon Brothers. Um, um, I'm going out to Oklahoma for the Josh Franco uh, Maloney fight. I'm uh, so going to be adding content from there as well, hopefully. All right. Um, today's show, let's get into it. Michael Fox, uh, Rob. And what was perhaps the worst decision I'd ever seen? Um, the scorecard should have been somewhere in the realm of 120 to 107, Fox, meaning he won all the rounds, or 117 to 110, anywhere in that realm. 12 0, 9 3, give him the extra point for the knockdown. Those were the reasonable scorecards. Um, this was so bad. And so egregious. I don't even know what to say about it. Um, it, it's one of those things that just can't ever make sense. Um, M- Michael Fox is going to go back to being an opponent. He's going to have to work his way up again. While Masters goes on and, and, and fights an eliminated fight, I would imagine. He's an interim champ now. He, he's one step closer to a world title fight. This is outrageous. Um yeah, you know, I said, you know, it, it, Luis Colasso uh, was on the card. Um, St- he was fighting Stanios in the main event. Um, C- Colasso, unfortunately, it, it is remembered, you know, he, he's always going to be, he's in a lot of great fights. Uh, unfortunately, he got robbed horribly, horribly in the Ricky Hatton fight in Boston, a fight he clearly won, won most of the rounds, probably won eight, nine rounds of that fight. Um, and got robbed in that fight. Um, and, and that's one of the worst decisions. I mean, that fight's got to be, I don't know, 15 years ago? 13, 14 years ago? Um, and you still remember it. I still remember that fight. It was 2007. Is that right? I don't remember. Uh, but but I still remember that fight. Um, that's how bad that decision was. This fight, the Michael Fuck. Fe- Fox fight on the uh, on his undercard was somehow way worse than that. I, this is the worst decision I'd ever seen. I always had Colazzo up there as one of the worst decisions I've ever seen. This is up there. Uh, this is this is number one. Paul Williams, Arislandi Lauder was I, I said was the worst decision I ever saw. Um, this was the worst decision I'd ever seen. This was so egregiously bad. There's just no. Fox put on a box and couldn't. Granted, it wasn't all that fun. It may have been boring at times, but he dominated him. He was uh, catching him with shots. Um, he was hitting him clean, hitting him clean, moving out of the way, keeping the distance, dictating pace, dictating range. He threw a perfect game, and I tweeted that. Uh, he, uh, you know, on my card, on card, he was winning round after round after round after round, and he never stopped. Uh, Mestre has never really put together a rally. He never won a bunch of rounds in a row. He never really won any rounds. I mean, you, you can find one, two, three tops to give him. The, you know, you give him the first. There's really not that many rounds you can give him. Um, and, and and somehow, the only three people in the world who thought he won that fight were the judges. There's something seriously wrong with that decision. Like 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 not a little bit wrong. Not a little bit wrong. I'm not like, uh, okay, I, I think the judges got some rounds wrong. Um, and then, you know, they gave the close rounds to that. No. 
that was egregious. It, 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 it has to be bogus because no one can be that incompetent. No one can be that incompetent. When they run the scorecards, it said 114, 113. I'm like, what? Is that close? Then 115, 112. And you saw Michael Fox looking like, are they going to? Why are they doing this? And then 117, 110. Like, All right, it's for Fox. One judge got it kind of right. And then they go the other way. And, and, and the biggest crumble, look, I don't want to blame Gloria Martinez. Because had Gloria Martinez scored every round for Fox, Mesh Ray still wins. So her card isn't alone the reason why Fox lost. Uh, and she's going to get the blame, and she should because she had the most egregious card. She scored it 10 rounds to two for Fox. Fox won two rounds in that fight when, when the whole world thought he won at least 10. I, I don't know what to make of it. And I'm not – look, she's going to get the blunt of this, the brunt of this, and she deserves it because her card was egregious. But the other cards are inexcusable too, absolutely inexcusable. There needs to be an investigation. Like after the Williams Laura fight, it was in New Jersey, it was in Atlantic City. The New Jersey State Athletic Commission did a full investigation and uh, it suspended all three judges. Minnesota needs to do something like that. This was that bad of a decision. It's not. It, it, there's no way you could be that incompetent. It's it's it, it's bogus. The other. John Mariano and Dave Singh. They didn't use big judges. They didn't use judges that you knew. They used largely unknown judges. The fight started. Masters walked into the ring, skinning his gloves. You know, the tape up to almost the logo on his glove. Michael Fox's corner. First of all, why would a commission sign off on that? And then the ref said, no, he's not skinning his gloves. Fox's corner, and, and kudos to them for catching this, right? And, and they stuck to it. They were, we're not fighting like that. They had to undo it, take off the tape, t- change the laces. Skinning the gloves is when you um, lace the gloves really high and you kind of pull the padding down so it kind of exposes the knuckles more. It's an old school tactic, right, that you should be able to get away with because the commission has to sign off on it. But they're so incompetent, they don't know what they're looking for. They have no clue what they're looking for. I don't even know what to say. How do you let that go? Then that, they, they, they get that, right? They get away with that. They don't get away with it. They get caught, but there's no suspension. They, they retape the, they, they, they re, uh, relace the gloves, retape the gloves, and, and we go. Then the decision. Right, so that starts it off. Like, first of all, okay, something's wrong already. Then the decision, which is the most egregious decision I've ever seen. You know, I'm not kidding, guys. If you haven't seen the fight, it's the worst, the single worst decision I've ever seen. In, I'm 38 years old. I've been watching boxing. In the 30 years I've been watching boxing, that's the worst decision I ever saw. And I don't even think it's close. I always had a lot of a lot, you know, club shows, you know, local shows, the biggest fight in the world. Right? All, anything. This is the worst decision I've ever seen. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know what's going to be done, but there needs to be a full investigation into the WBA, into the judges, and see what happens here. Look, if the WBA is not going to investigate this, which they're not, then Minnesota needs to do it. Like, you can't have, you can't just say this was incompetent. You can't just say it was bad judges. First, the commission let them. Enter the ring, skinning his gloves. Clearly skinning his gloves. Michael Fox kind of had to catch it, and then they made him change it. They put three inexperienced judges in on the fight. And then they hand in this. This whole thing stinks. This entire thing reeks. Someone needs to look into this. That was the worst thing I ever saw. Guys, please uh, follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um... Leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you guys think should be done. Obviously, no one thinks uh, Mass Race won the fight. Clearly, Fox won the fight. And that's obvious. Um, so, leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, uh, our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, please like and subscribe to that channel. Share that channel. Uh, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. 
So help us get that monetized as quickly as possible. Um, it is August 8th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. So it's a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.